Do you have a leaky city water connection on your RV or your trailer? Today I'm going to show you how to replace it. Leaky water connectors uh, from the city on your trailer can cause damage on the interior and in the exterior of your uh, RV or trailer. Um, also the check valve inside, if it's not seating properly, and, and no longer is holding uh, water pressure from the backside can cause issues as well as leakage on the outside. So today I'm going to be installing a Thetford uh, city water connector and uh, we're going to go ahead and change that out. I'll show you exactly how to do it. So on the inside of your compartment that the water comes into, you're going to have a hose that connects onto the city water port. Uh, that just happens to be this one right here. So the first thing you're going to do is unconnect that. There we go. So we got once we got that connected, this is the line here and it feeds over to the other connector, the T connector that, that transfers it over from the pump. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this one as well. So I'll take that off as well. And we're just going to do away with this old one since it probably will leak anyway once I mess with it. The next thing to do is going to be to unscrew the screws that are on the flange of the city water connector. So we're just going to undo those. remove the old connector it's as easy as that so on the old connector you can see that the uh, check valve is it's just dilapidated it's uh, no good anymore so it's a good thing we're changing this so what that check valve does is when you apply pressure from the city or a, a hose spigot and it activates the check valve that's inside so once that uh, degrades and dries out on the rubber it's just no good anymore it's time to change it out so you can see I've got the new one sitting here and it also comes with new sealant tape and a set of screws as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to clean up the old flange area. I'm just going to take my putty knife and remove a lot of that old sealant and you want to make sure you don't get too aggressive to where you end up scratching the paint. Once we got all the sealant uh, cleaned up as best as possible on the camper, um, I'm going to go ahead and take the the sealant tape and I'm going to go ahead and start applying that on the new flange. I'm just going to keep going around in circles and make this as fairly thick as possible as much as I can. Because we definitely want a good seal once that goes back on. So that is roughly giving us enough tape to go around a couple times. Okay. And I'll just mash that in. That'll all work out good. So it's pretty thick. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, um, because I am changing out the uh, supply line, I'm going to go ahead and attach that on. And I'm choosing to go with stainless steel, something that's a little more hardy product. Okay, that's nice and tight. Okay, so it's ready to install. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the new line inside the camper itself where I have everything like so and I'm going to turn that and I'm going to match up to the old screws I'm going to go ahead and just get everything started and then once I get all three screws started I'm going to go ahead and just slowly cinch it down and let that putty work in so what I'll do is I'll go around clockwise and just slowly tighten down everything until the putty squeezes out. Okay, that is it. So the connector is in place. And we'll go ahead and pop our top in. And then I'll just go ahead and reconnect on the line that's inside and we'll have a brand new city water connector, stainless steel braided line going to our water supply. So here's the finished product. I've got the new stainless steel braided line going over to the connection and we've got the new city water connection done as well. 
Okay, so I got everything done. I had to, of course, pick the worst day of the year to do it. <laughs> it uh, is a nasty, rainy day today. But I hope that helped you out on changing out the city water uh, connection and just exactly how easy it is. Uh, so if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching, and uh, thanks for watching DIY on the House.